started doing it at Uluga in uh, I believe 74. First time that uh, I'd ever tried it. I think it's the first time it had been done in, in Oklahoma. And uh, um, Uluga would, uh, it came up when they flooded it, uh, flooded all the natural vegetation that was out there, Johnson grass, everything that was there. And it uh, was a real good waterfowl area. One of the federal wardens there at that time said it was as good as Stuttgart, Arkansas, which is known to be really good. Of course, it was a one time deal after the lake came up. and. Uh, uh, that stuff was utilized and gone the next year. Well, it wasn't there, and so it wasn't as good. So, uh, over the time there, over several years there, well, I could see that in the summer we had these mud flats out there, and I kept thinking, well, how can I get something growing out there that we can flood to, to replicate what we've already seen happen? And so I saw a seed advertisement in a catalog from a Mangelsdorf Seed Company in St. Louis, and. Uh, this, it said this had Japanese millet and said that it could be seeded directly on mud flats. And uh, well, well, that's what I want. I want to try that. So we got a couple sacks. And we just planted it on a place over to the guy that was bare mud. It, it wasn't as wet as it should have been because we used a tractor. We didn't think about using a plane or anything then, but we planted it and rained on it. And, and the warden over there called me in a couple weeks and says, I better come over and check on your uh, millet. It's going wild. I said, Really? So I went over and looked at it. So. Ducks used it, waterfowl used it, and we began expanding the area that we planted. Uh, after that, Jay Jones was the manager over at Uluga for a good period of time there, and he was supportive and interested in doing this. And, and uh, over the years, we've just uh, began planting more of it, and we started using airplanes because there was a lot of the areas you just couldn't get on the equipment without burying it. And so uh, uh, here we are today, and this is a this is a mega millet crop. This is as good as it gets, I believe. Have you seen it? Have you seen it this good at cob before? No, this is best. Really? Yes. Best ever. Uh, we planted 2,200 all total this year, but it's not all right here. It's in different parts, on different parts of the lake. There's several coves further down the lake, and there's millet. There are millets, millets been planted there, but not as much as here. This is the bulk of it. So, how much total do you have covered with millet on cob this year? 2,200. There's all 2,200 acres worked out, and it came yeah. up. That's yeah. a well, mother, of course, the Corps of Engineers helped us with the water level, and uh, Mother Nature's really helped a lot this year because the rains came at just the right time.